she was uh, 94 at the time, 93, and she was doing her laundry and turned too quickly and lost her balance and started down and as we all would be likely to do, put her hand out to stop herself and it, and it broke her wrist actually. A lot of people don't realize that falls are a huge problem and they're actually the number one cause of injury death in the state of Wisconsin and repeatedly Wisconsin ranks, ranks number one or two in the country for the highest rate of uh, fall related deaths. So it's a huge problem nationally and an even uh, larger problem here in Wisconsin and Dane County. A long time ago, like more than 10 years ago, I had fallen. And so that's on your mind. And certainly I'm aware of the fact that as we age, falls can become more, you're more prone to falling. Fall can't kill you. Other things that come up because of, because of falling, like if you have to be hospitalized for a long time, you can develop pneumonia if you're a senior citizen or older. A lot of times, you know, people will fall and then the trajectory after the fall is just not a good one. So, you know, people may end up in a nursing home. A lot of people actually do end up in a nursing home um, for their, their last years. But um, as Nancy mentioned too, people can develop pneumonia or develop other uh, illnesses or issues as a result of the fall. And once someone falls once, they're prone to additional falls. January of 2017, I turned 70 and I decided I wanted to figure out how to embrace this new phase of my life. And I get newsletters of different classes and stepping on was one of the classes. And that seemed like a good place to start because my elderly mother had fallen and broken her arm. So it's like, okay, so we'll start here. The whole idea with stepping on and falls prevention is preventing that first fall so that people don't have consecutive falls afterwards. So the stepping on is an evidence-based program. It's been proven to reduce the rate of falls by around 31% among participants who take the, the workshop. And stepping on is not an exercise class. I think that's a common misperception. There's a lot more to it. So it's um, led by two trained uh, leaders and Four different guest experts come during the course of the workshop. There's a pharmacist, a physical therapist, a vision expert, and then a community safety officer. So there's a lot of course content. Participants leave with um, a manual, essentially. And the four components of the class uh, revolve around medications role in falls, vision, um, how to navigate your community and your environment, home safety, uh, and then strength and balance. And this is modeled off of the Centers for Disease Control's um, steady toolkit, which really uh, tells people how, what they can do to prevent a fall. And the four components are the same that are modeled in Stepping On. Stepping On is a real, it, it's not just, here's a great idea, They're, they are keeping track of, of incidents. You, uh, for example, in the Ballroom Basics, class for ba ballroom basics for balance class <clears throat> they test us at the beginning of the class and then at the end and you're tested for abilities to, s to stand and walk carrying a glass of water and they time you doing that so they're maintaining records to see how people are Im improving um, and 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 keeping track of these records across the board. Perfect candidates for stepping on are people who want to be proactive, people who maybe have fallen once, a, once or twice, people who are afraid of falling, um, and even we have people who take the class with a, uh, with a caregiver, um, and that's completely fine to do that. Uh, people need to be mobile enough um, where they're not completely reliant on a, uh, a walker or a cane to get around in their home and to be cog cognitively intact because uh, there's so much information that's shared during the workshop. And we target 60 plus as the age range, but if someone presents a falls risk and is younger than 60, then w they're welcome to take the class too. Overall, it's uh, heightened my awareness of my surroundings, my abilities and things I need to change specifically. A lot of people say that it's improved their quality of life because I think sometimes you 
have a tendency to become more sedentary if you're afraid of of doing normal activities. If you're afraid of walking outside, if you're afraid of um, going anywhere, then you may not do the things that you used to do. And then there's also a link to depression and to some uh, mental health issues. So I think one of the things is just maintaining your quality of life or improving your quality of life. You can go to the Safe Communities website, which is www.safercommunity.net, and then click on Falls Prevention. That's one way, because we keep a, a real-time, up-to-date list of classes that are offered in the county. Um, you can call me. Um, my number is 608-235-1957. Um, since I coordinate the classes, I know, you know, at any given time where they're being offered. And you can also look at the Wisconsin Institute for Healthy Aging's website. They uh, manage stepping on workshops for the entire state. So if you live maybe just outside of Dane County, um, then you could go to their website to see what's being offered in, in your area.